The crisis on the quarantine cruise ship in Japan is getting worse. At least 32 American passengers are among the now more than 200 coronavirus patients. All week, a woman from here in the Tampa Bay area has been sounding the alarm that the quarantine just is not working. Adrian Chisai's uh, Justin Shecker has been following the story for us. He joins us now from our Tampa News Center. You've talked to her a couple different times. I mean, she's trying to make the best of it, but good grief. Yeah, Keith and Jen, good evening. Gabe Quarter says throughout this quarantine period, Japanese health officials have been reluctant to use their test kits on cruise ship passengers. She's waking up for the 10th day confined to her cabin during this coronavirus outbreak. The worst time for us is when we hear the account of how many are sick. Gabe Quarter from Tampa Bay knew it was only a matter of time. I'll be very surprised if there's no more. I'll be thrilled. And Hours after I spoke with her over people. Skype, Japanese health officials announced 44 more coronavirus cases from the cruise ship, bringing the total to 219. We're looking at 200 something cases and more every day. We're feeling it. We've done the numbers. We could have passed them in the buffet line. NBC News obtained this letter. The U.S. Embassy sent the nearly 400 American passengers still stuck on the Diamond Princess. Tomorrow, some passengers will start disembarking to quarantine facilities on land. The first off the ship will be older adults with pre-existing health conditions. I'm 75. My husband's 77. We have pre-existing conditions. Quarter has wanted off the ship since her plea for help Monday. It's time to come for us now. She tells Aid on your side when she returns to Florida. I'm happy to go home in a quarantine condition. And I'm told there are passengers who are older than the quarters in their 80s and 90s. So, Jen, it's no guarantee this Florida couple will be allowed off the ship tomorrow. Well, I'm curious, does the state of Florida have a plan for when these cruise passengers are allowed to come home? Well, Jen, the Florida Department of Health says it's working with federal agencies to investigate, confirm, and contain any suspected cases of coronavirus. So far, they say there are no confirmed cases here in our state. Now, should one occur, the Department of Health email to me says, quote, Florida's health care facilities are well prepared to treat any patient. Jen? Justin Shecker, live in our Tampa News Center for us tonight. Thank you.